Hey all viewers, here is the Sanyo 900 MHz Digital Spread Spectrum or Digitan Spread Spectrum 900 MHz cordless telephone model number CLT 9581 Whoops, we're unintentionally paging the handset Okay, so this is one of very few Sanyo telephones I've worked with so I'm not really sure what to expect here in terms of quality hopefully it's good quality because 900 megahertz digital spread spectrum telephones are pretty hard to come across in the handset speakerphone format the antenna is of rubber material it seems pretty flexible still but definitely not going to push my luck with that and uh, the screen there, not the screen, but whatever that you want to call it, it's kind of foggy. And there's definitely some wear marks on it, it's starting to turn white there, and some wear in the bottom where it sits in the cradle. But it's here, and there's the, got the ringer switch up there. No major damage to it, it's still got the stickers, which is kind of cool. It's got some stickers on the base as well. So let's begin by calling it up. Uh, it looks like... No, I guess I can only fit in the cradle one way. It's got three contacts. Alright, let's call this thing up and see if it rings. It does ring. Pretty distinct ringer. It's not a one I hear often around here. I think the bass and the handset are ringing the same way. And it looks like it's answered on talk. I don't hear anything out of the speaker. One, two, three. Check, check. Yeah, it's there. It's just very, very quiet. Goose, goose, goose. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, the so quiet, but it does work. Buttons seem to work. They are backlit too. Well, the star is a little flaky, but don't use that key much anyways. Okay, that's working. So, I want to hear the handset ring all by itself. Let's see if I can turn the ring off on this base. I don't see. Here we go. Ring off. So, let's see what the handset ring sounds like. Okay. Now I think the base has the same ring, so now I'll turn the ring off on the handset. I'll put the base ring back on, and let's call it again. Yep, it's definitely the same ring. Well, let's switch over to the mains and make an outside call, and see how this handset speakerphone sounds. How's the duplexity of this phone? That seems pretty duplex.
110 in the beautiful White Hills of Shelton, Connecticut. Not bad sound quality. And uh, today, you can park in the yard parking lot. I guess that's okay. The high setting is pretty loud, the middle setting is normal, and the lower setting is quiet, but it is there. Alright. Okay, so that sounds pretty decent. Uh, now we'll check the base one. Whoops. Is that illuminating? Yeah, very faintly though. That doesn't sound too good, much above the lowest volume setting at all. Alright, now we're going to record some testing messages so we can see how good the pickup is on the on the speaker phones in particular. Three new messages and four old messages. Message one. Okay, this is testing message number one on talk. The handset does not seem to have much of any side tone whatsoever. Now I'll switch it to speakerphone. Still speaking as closely to it as I was before. Now I'm speaking about one foot away from the handset. Now it's on the table and I'm speaking at about the two foot distance that describes the construction before. And just in case you still picking up clearly. Message two. Now I'm calling from the base, and the handset is not looking promising because the testing answering machine hung up while I was recording, and that's the same kind of behavior that was experienced with the 46 to 49 megahertz Sanyo telephone. The outgoing audio seemed to be very, very quiet, borderline non-existent. I'm going to switch back to the handset. Apparently I can't do that. The handset is talking flash. It's flash, talking flash. The talk button is flashing, and it won't let me answer it. So I guess I'll have to hang up and call back from the handset. Message three. Final testing message with the handset. Oops, there was. End of messages. What do people scream on the phone in the Canada? That's awful. The pickup is awful. I thought for sure that other one that I had was defective, but this one is kind of the same way. They got the bass right, so I almost wonder if there's just something wrong with the handset microphone. Has it deteriorated over time? Is there maybe a foam over it that's deteriorated and is blocking the sound? It's worth taking a look inside to see if there's anything that can be done to repair it. But I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with it at the moment. Very disappointing. I do like the AC adapter cord. It's very easy to plug in and out. It's got a good grip to it. And the key tones on the handset are very nice. They're audible enough to be noticed, but they're quiet enough to not be obnoxious and highly disruptive. But what good is a telephone you have to scream into?